Welcome to Health Coach for Women, a podcast where we explore alternative and holistic solutions to better health and wellness through intentional living. Now, here's your host, Marsha Rupchand Walker. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I thank you for your support, your love and support. I just wanted to say thank you. Of course, I have a quote for you, and it's very simple. Live your best life now. Tomorrow's not promised, and that's just by me, okay? By Marsha, right? I don't know how original it is, but that's what came to my mind. All right, so this what leads me into today's topic is eight ways how you can live your best life now, an extraordinary life. What are the eight ways to live an extraordinary life? All right, and I'll be going over that with you. Um, If you haven't done so already, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. All right, so let me dive right in. You know, some people think that they have to have a lot of money to live the best life that they want to live, or maybe if they have this job or this car, that that's just going to make life so much easier. Well, yeah, with money, yeah, it can make things a whole lot easier, right? But does that mean and live an extraordinary life now, right? Because life is happening now, okay? So that's what I wanted to talk to you about. So what are the ways that you can live an extraordinary life right now, no delay with no money, nothing, right? Absolutely nothing. I'm going to go over that with you. The first one is having gratitude, all right? Having gratitude, being appreciative, being thankful every day, being thankful and grateful for where you are right now and all the things that you have right now and the people that's in your life right now here today, right? That's one of the ways, showing appreciation, right? Expressing gratitude, um, because when you it's so it's so simple, yet people find it quite so challenging to to have gratitude. Um, but it's but if you can really take your mind off of things that's bring you stress and bring you uh, grief and toxicity and 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 depression and all those things, but fo- if you focus on that you'll bring more of that to you, right? You know how the law of attraction works. So you'll find that uh, if you eliminate the toxicity, um, that it will help you to find, uh, to express gratitude, to express gratitude, okay? So find a way to be more thankful. When you wake up in the morning, say thank you. Make a list of maybe five to 10 things. Write them down or say them out loud the five to 10 things that you're grateful for and be sincere with it, right? Again, remember how the law of attraction works. What you focus on, you bring more of it to you, right? So don't focus on what you lack, focus on what you have, okay? So now the next one is being optimistic. Again, being positive, right? Operating with a higher, operating at a higher frequency, right? A higher vibration. And that comes from being positive, right? With positive thoughts. Remember, your thoughts create your reality, right? Your thoughts create your reality. So be more optimistic. Be more positive, right? When when you're faced with, with difficulty, when you're faced with challenges, find ways to cope with it. And see, that's all it is, is sometimes people don't have the right coping mechanisms to help them uh, throughout life. Okay. And so it's learning how to cope with life's challenges, right? Learning how to adapt. It's so important. All right, so learning how to weather the storm because life is full of ups and downs, high and low moments. It's a part of life. We all experience it. We all go through it, 
okay? Either with losses in friendships, relationships, family members, maybe loss in job, career, whatever it is, whatever the life challenge that can happen, whatever it is, we go through it, but we need to be able to weather the storm. And it's not saying that everything is going to be peachy keen, keen and, and, and beautiful and, and red roses all the time, but we learn to cope and adapt. And one way that we do that is not only by expressing gratitude, but being optimistic, being optimistic with the hope and, 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 and the belief that things will be better. And when you have that belief, and forget even forget about hope, right? But when you have that belief, even that's even more powerful. When you have the belief that things will be better, there's a change that happens, right? There's a change in the actually in the brain that happens. Okay. And you know, I talked about that before about on the episode of Can We Create Miracles, right? And what the brain does. And I, sh and I showed you and I played a clip from uh, Dr. Joe uh, Dispenza and, and how he shows how the brain works, how the mind works. OK, and, and we know that the brain ha emits a type of energy frequency. Right. Our bodies itself has energy. Right. And, and I talked about all of this before that they can see the aura around a person, the energy feels around a person. And so would you have to be more optimistic and so that way you can operate at a higher frequency, okay? And so that is going to help you. You can start doing, just start, it It takes several days, what is it, 30, 31 days to, to create a habit, a lasting habit, okay? So just try it, do it 30 days, all right? And you will see the benefits just by being more optimistic, and having an intention of belief, right? And setting your intentions, but in the intentions of belief, your intentions of having gratitude, setting the intention of you being well in all areas of your life, setting that intention is what's going to help you, help you to have and live an extraordinary life right now. Okay. And the next one is forgiveness, right? How, it's 2024. How many, how many of you are still stuck in not even 2023, but stuck in 2017? Okay. From back in the day, way back then that this person did something to you. So you're holding, you're holding on a grudge. You're holding on to negative uh, energy toxic energy because you don't want to let it go. Move on. I'm sure that person has moved on. They're probably not even thinking about you. So move on. Okay. You had a bad relationship. He, he or she, whoever they cheated on you, you were cheated on by a spouse. Move on. Okay. Move on. They're lost. Not your loss. They're lost. Move on. Move forward. Learn how to forgive. Learn how to forgive because when we hold on to negative thoughts and feelings, these negative thoughts and feelings and emotions, it plays a part in the body. Okay, because you know I talked about this already, right? Holding on to negative thoughts and, and, and energy and uh, that type of frequency is no good for the body. Okay. It's no good. You have to learn how to release and let it go. Learn how to release and let it go. And this is why uh, you hear people talk about breath work and breathing and meditation. It helps you to release those toxic uh, energies, those toxic emotions out of the body, right? Just by surrendering and letting go, learning how to surrender. All right. So when you truly surrender, you can then forgive. OK. All right. So nourish. Nourish is the next one. OK. Nourishing. What do I mean by nourishing? Right. Nourishing the body. Right. 
nourishing. Well, we want to heal the body, right? And we want to nourish the body with healthy, nutrient-dense food. But we want to also nourish our soul. So when we do the previous things that I mentioned, right, about being optimistic, uh, being expressing gratitude, being optimistic and learning how to forgive, right, we can, we're able to properly nourish our soul, right? We can properly nourish our soul, right? And, and whatever that means to you, whatever your spirituality, faith, beliefs, right, we can nourish our soul and also nourish our body, which leads me into the next one on how you can live an extraordinary life right now is by eating healthy, right? What you eat matters, okay? You are what you eat. Eating healthy, nutritious, nutrient-dense, whole plant-based foods as much as possible, your fruits and vegetables, right? And we know uh, how much that nutrition plays a part on the body, right? And we also know, we also know how impacted the body is as well as the mind when it comes to stress, right? When it comes to stress. And so with eating healthy, along with all the other things, we want to make sure that we manage our stress, okay? That's important. We want to make sure that we manage stress. And actually, I should make that, I'll add that onto the list, right? So there are several ways. So we're going we're gonna to talk about that. I mentioned eating healthy. So having those nutrient-dense foods, right? In addition to everything I just mentioned about being uh, expressing gratitude, being optimistic, learning how to forgive, nourishing the soul and nourishing the body as well. Eating healthy foods, right? Eating nutrient-dense foods, plant-based diet, whole foods, organic as much as possible, fresh fruits and vegetables, right? Ladies, do you find yourself caught in the daily grind, juggling between the demands of your career and personal life? Do you dream of thriving both professionally and personally in 2024, but feel overwhelmed by the constant struggle? I understand the challenges you face, and that's why I'm thrilled to invite you to join the five-day Radiant Soul Challenge. Picture this, a life where you have the secrets to not only survive, but thrive in both your career and personal personal space. The Radiant Soul Challenge is designed for women just like you, ready to break free from the chains of stress and achieve optimal health. Here's why you should be a part of this exclusive experience. Learn the secrets to thrive both professionally and personally in 2024. Discover actionable insights that will propel you towards success in your career while maintaining a fulfilling personal life. Create more work-life balance for better optimal health. Uncover strategies to strike the perfect balance between your personal aspirations and your well-being, ensuring that you're at the top of your game without sacrificing your health. Implement proven strategies for stress management and productivity skills. Say goodbye to stress overload. Acquire practical techniques that boost your productivity and keep stress at bay, empowering you to excel in your career with ease. Don't miss this chance to embark on a soulful journey. Join the five-day Radiant Soul Challenge and redefine your path to success. Click the link below and secure your spot in the five-day Radiant Soul Challenge now. Your thriving future awaits. Hope to see you there. We want to manage stress, okay? And this one wasn't even in my notes, but that's a key component. <laughs> that's a key component of... Uh, how we can live an extraordinary life is learning how to manage your stress. And that's an important tool that you need to implement. If you are one that fly off the handle really fast, you have a hot temper, you need to listen up. <laughs> All right. So stress management. But this is this is, is not in any particular order. Um, but I had it came to me. And so to live in, live in part of living an extraordinary 
life, right? That is stress management. Man, that should be number one. How you manage stress? How do you deal with adverse situations? How do you deal with work environment in your work environment? Stress, all right? And so number one, what I had was expressing gratitude, being optimistic, being more positive, having a higher, operating at a higher frequency. We have forgiveness, right? We have nourishment, nourishment of the soul, right? Nourishment of the soul, uh, nutrition, eating healthy, right? Stress management, managing stress. Most people, uh, they say that many people, uh, with, I think it was like 70 something percent. The majority of stress comes from, in the U.S., comes from people in their work environment. Stress is their, their main reason of stress is work-related, right? Work-related, okay? And all of that plays a part in our body, in our mind. It plays a part. So stress management, all right? And so what is another way that we can start living an extraordinary life right now, today, right after you finish listening to this podcast? Move more, move your body. I can't talk about it and stress it enough that I talk about moving your body, right? Moving your body, it helps give you more energy, right? More energy and vitality. It helps uh, the flow, the movement, uh, the blood flow in the body, right? Moving the body. So we want to do that. All right. We want to have some form of movement in our daily life. And that helps us to have more energy and vitality. All right. When you do these things. I have another one for you. What about not comparing? What about not comparing yourself to others? Stop comparing yourself to other people. All right. On Facebook or Instagram, TikTok. Stop worrying about other people and what they got and what they have. Stay in your own lane, okay? That's what I tell myself. I don't worry about other people. I'm in my lane. And the only competition I have is with myself, not anybody else, all right? So don't focus on other people. Do not compare. Don't determine your value based upon the opinion or the success of others, okay? Don't let someone else determine your own self-worth, all right? So don't compare. Do not compare yourself to other people. Stay in your lane, all right? And the last one I have is being fearless, being fearless. Stop being afraid to take a chance. Stop being afraid uh, to do something different. Think outside the box. Do something different. And even if you're afraid, do it anyway, right? Because the only way to make change is to make change. The only way to change is to change. The only way to be better is to do better, okay? And so if you want, if you want to really, really want to live an extraordinary life, you, you've got to do these things that I'm sharing with you. And I've listed about nine of them, okay? But I realize that stress management needs to be on there, as well as being fearless. Being fearless. Because if we st let fear keep us stuck, we'll never move forward. We will never move forward. Okay, if I remain stuck in fear, I wouldn't have this podcast right now. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now if I chose to live in fear. All right, so choose to not live in fear, but to be fearless. All right, and tap into that superpower. Tap into your superpower of greatness. Tap into the superpower 
of believing in yourself. Believing in yourself and doing the best and being the best of who you are. Tap into the superpower. Stop putting those dreams aside. Stop delaying. Stop delaying. <laughs> Don't let them get buried with you when it's your time to go back in the earth or however, when it's your time to pass on, right? That's my point, all right? So learn how to do these things. Implement these nine things, okay? Implement uh, being, expressing gratitude, right? Expressing gratitude, being more optimistic so you can operate at a higher frequency. Remember, thoughts become reality. And I cannot stress that enough, right? Learning how to forgive, right? Stop staying stuck in the past. Stop staying stuck in the past. Nourish, nourish your soul, right? And the way you nourish your soul is by being optimistic, right? Expressing gratitude and forgiveness, right? In addition to your spirituality, right? Because these things are happy. If, Part of your spirituality should include the first three. It's a part of your spirituality. Being expressing gratitude, being optimistic, and forgiveness. Right? So that way you can nourish your soul in addition to eating healthy. Right? Eating healthy, nutrient-dense foods. Okay? Um, stress management. Key, key, key factor. How you manage stress impacts not only your mind, but the body. So managing stress, right? Move your body, move more, move more. Stop comparing, stop comparing. Move the body, stop comparing also, right? Stay in your lane. Don't worry about what somebody else got and what you don't, what you don't got. Stay in your lane. Remember, your only competition is the one you have with yourself. All right? And be fearless. Be fearless. Live fearlessly. If you're going to be afraid, do it anyway. But don't let it stop you. And you can tap into your superpower and you can have the life you want. You can live the life you want. You can live an extraordinary life right now. Right? The key is of all of it, is to learning how to be present, living in the now, living in the now. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, please, if you like this podcast, if you enjoyed this episode, please go ahead and hit that like button, share and subscribe. Until next time. Bye for now. Be safe. Okay. Bye for now. If you are struggling with health issues like chronic pain, being held back by past traumas, or feeling overwhelmed and hopeless, please know there is hope. There is help. Transcendence, a woman's guide to healing and self-love for better health, happiness, and abundance is a blueprint to help you get your life back and reclaim your health. Within its pages, you'll learn how to elevate your existence by shifting your mindset toward the positive, focusing your energy on what's really important, using gratitude to feel deep appreciation, changing your gene expression through epigenetics, building resilience, and living in a state of flow, feeling love overflow within. Go beyond an ordinary life. Transcend. Buy it now. Thanks so much for tuning in to this episode of Health Coach for Women with Marsha Rupchan Walker. If you've enjoyed this episode, please feel free to rate, subscribe, and leave a review wherever you listen to your podcasts. That helps others find the show, and we greatly appreciate it. Once again, thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next episode.